Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here and shenanigans is sh sidekick number two. <laughs> Welcome into this week's Tuesday Night Live Crap Show. We're glad that you're with us tonight. Uh, we hope that if you like what you see, that you'll click that red subscribe button and give us a thumbs up to let us know you appreciate all the hard work and effort that we put in every week to bring this free content to you. Also, we have a website, www.maymaymadeit.com, where you can purchase all the supplies to make the projects right along with May May. And on that subscribe note, if you would help us out and subscribe, we're trying to reach 400,000 in 2022. Uh, we got a ways to go, but we believe we can do it if you guys will help us out. So join in, subscribe, let us know you're glad to be here, and we're going to have a great show tonight. Now, normally after this, we have a crafter after show where we talk about whatever we want to, but tonight we're skipping it. So we're going to have a longer live show making a, making a craft project kind of deal. So just hang on. Let's get started, my man. We're not skipping it for any reason, except I wanted to have more time to do this project. So welcome in. And tonight we're going to do something that I think you're really going to like this because um, you guys love as many as. And here's something I have been learning, okay? So for a long time, and I still kind of feel this way, but for a long time, I didn't want to just keep doing as many as projects because I feel like it's the same project, okay? But I told you guys, I've been trying out some new hobbies and, test, you know, trying some new things here and there. And when one of the hobbies I've been trying out is sewing. And interestingly, they have these things called layer cakes, which are basically paper packs. It's pretty cool. And I didn't realize that. They're not paper, they're fabric. But imagine a paper pack made of fabric. Well, my friends at So Charming were teaching me about them. And I realized as a newbie to that, just how useful seeing someone take a layer cake, dissect it and put it back together was, right? But I, I think it's really useful to see them do it for different projects, not the same one over and over, because it's the same process for, like, for example, if I was making cards tonight, it's the same process you've seen me do a thousand times. Tonight, I thought it would be neat to show you an as many as making quick gifts. And these have gotten so popular, and I thought this would be a great thing to show you guys. So, we're going to use this paper pack called A Cozy Christmas. We just grabbed one out of the stack that was a, a full pack, because I tend to pull paper out of packs. So it's a we, full pack. We tend to pull paper out of packs. Yeah, and yeah, we do when we make samples. <laughs> we all kind of grab a page here and there. Not me. No, he doesn't. Them. And it's going to feature these guys tonight. Now, you have seen these everywhere. And if you haven't seen these, you might be like me. I got one sent to me, and I went, what? There's a, a half legal pad? I knew in the past people cut notebooks down and stuff like Office Depot, places like that will cut them down. But now they're actually making these little half, um, they're not half legal pads, they're half um, composition books. And... I got sent one and I really liked it and then I went on Amazon and I started looking and I found this one on Amazon and it's exactly a half book. While I was looking I also found this one that opens the other way and is lined the other way and I know some people like to write this way better than this way okay so I thought that would be a cute idea but I gotta show you something else. If you get creative and you look through notebooks on Amazon, you'll be surprised what you can find. I also found these little guys, and they're craft colored, and they're just jot in notebooks. And I want to show you this. Um, look how many came in this pack. I don't remember how much they were. This is from Amazon, too. And I wondered if you guys, I'm not using these tonight. I just wanted to show you. Would you guys like to see an as many as using these? Because I think that would be neat, too. Did, anytime we can mix it up. Make right. One of those for me. One of these? Yeah. Yes, one of these can be yours. <laughs> All right. In making an as many as, here's what I decided I wanted to do. I wanted to try to get as many as I could. You know, we do this all the time. We try to get as many as we can from um, any project we're doing when we're doing an as many as. So I did a little math, sort of, kind of. I did card math. And everybody knows I can do card math. I can't do regular math. So here's what I did. I measured my books. Now, I want to tell you something, okay? This is um, a four and seven eighths by seven and a half, this book, and this one is the same. However, I never measure all the way across. A couple reasons. Let's talk about this. The reason I'm going to measurement is when you get this at home, 
my measurements may not be exact for you because your books may be different, but they're pretty similar. So I just wanted to tell you how I found the measurements, okay? So here's what I do. I take my ruler and I lay it to the where the um, black binding of the book starts and I measure that. And here I get six and seven eighths. So even though this says it's seven and a half, it's seven and a half to the edge. I'm not gonna go over here, okay? The reason I'm not going all the way across is can you see that it curves? Also, many times this material is a, is a, um, a fabric material and you'll wanna make sure you use a different adhesive, or not different, a sturdy adhesive. Art glitter glue is fine. I'm just saying if you're using something like a tape runner or something, you probably wouldn't wanna use that here because it's gonna release. But I avoid this area, number one, because it's a slope and it's, it gives a really good opportunity for the paper to lift. And two, because I don't really like sticking on top of this. And secondly, you don't need to because it's super cute. Now, the inside of our book is a different animal, okay? The inside of your book is seven and a half. Now, I'm a person that does not like to push my um, cardstock all the way to this binding area. But here's why. Typically, when I'm making these books, I'm also putting pockets in here, and I can show you how to do that tonight, but I'm also putting pockets in here so it can hold things. Um, and when you're adding, if you're adding um, thickness to this binding section, this doesn't close well, and you end up with a book that just pops open, and I don't like that either. So I try to avoid putting cardstock inside that area and keep my cardstock out here where it can handle the bulk, okay? So you're gonna see that tonight, but if you don't like it, you can edit it, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so let's look at this guy. I wanted to be able to get as many as I could from one sheet. Here's what I've gotten. I got four and seven eighths by six and five eighths here, here, and here. So I can get three really easy from one 12 by 12, okay? But I can get four and seven eighths by five and three eighths here, and I can get four and seven eighths by two and a quarter here, so I can use that to my advantage inside the book, and I'll show you how. So this is how I'm gonna dissect my paper. We will, um, I'll take a snapshot of this and we'll put it in the blog post. We can do that. Um, and then of course this black section here you'll have left over, but I'll show you what you, what you need to do. It's important that you pay attention to this because there's a way to cut your paper, okay? Before we do anything, before we do anything, we have to dissect our paper pack. What does that mean? Dissector paper pack. What does that mean? Number one, I don't want to use this to cover my books. I want to use this to decorate my books, okay? So I'm going to pull this piece out. This piece is perfect. Front and back works well. I'm going to put that over here. This piece, front and back works well. This is cut apart. So I want to use that to decorate with, so I'm going to put that over here. This piece works great. This piece works great. This piece works great. Now I'm flipping these over for you to see, but I can tell by here. Do you see that I've got stripes and then I see the pattern on the back here? This one will work great too, okay? Um, this one will work great too, because I can see the back, but I'm gonna show you. This one will work great too. Gosh, we can get a lot out of here. And then we've got cut aparts. Sorry. The green. Cut aparts I'm gonna keep over here. And then another piece that can be the book. Now we can get a lot. And then of course stickers for later, okay? Now, I'm gonna sit these down out of my way because I don't need them. I'm gonna grab my trimmer. I did not pick this paper just because it was green. <laughs> Maybe okay, she did. Happy accident. And I'm gonna pull out three of these pieces, okay, really quick. Now, something I wanna show you. You're, you're okay to cut all the way down at either six and five eighths or four and seven eighths. Either one of those is fine, okay? But you wanna be mindful of how you cut. You don't wanna cut into this section. It, uh, I'll show you. Here's what, this is what I mean. Just do this. Look at your pattern. Make sure your pattern is good because you wanna pay attention to that, okay? And this might mess me up a little bit. I will see. I'm just gonna go. All right, four and seven eighths. I'm gonna cut the four and seven eighths first. Is everybody nervous? I am. Hadn't done this before. This is this is a newbie. All right. Well, you can't say you're nervous. It's just paper. It's just paper, but I haven't done this project before. I get oh, nervous I on first projects. One. What? That that wreathy paper. This it's trimmer like is messed time. up. It is. I told her I thought it was. One of my trimmers is messed up. We didn't know which one it was. Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> 
I'll tell you what it is too. If y'all have this happen, let me show you. Did you see how it cut through two pages fine? I know my trimmer will typically cut through three pages, no problem. And it did down here. What's happening is I think my blade is chipped and I don't think it's getting up there for some reason. So if that ever, ha if you notice it's cutting fine or it's cutting through most, it might have a chip. And sometimes that happens. And typically that happens to me when I accidentally cut chipboard with it. I feel you, Terrence. I get nervous about orientation too. Orientation is my nemesis. Everyone knows that. We work really hard to make sure we get our orientation straight. It's my nemesis. Let's see if I can do three on this one. Let's see even if this one's struggling too. Seeing if this one is struggling too. Nope, see, perfectly fine. All right, now I've got this piece. I wanna go back to my piece because I don't wanna mess this up, okay? This piece is this bottom section, all right? So now I wanna cut four and seven eighths. No, 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 yeah. Now I wanna cut, well, no, I'm gonna cut six and five eighths first. I mean, six and five eighths first, correct? Yes. yes. So I'm gonna take this piece. I'm gonna cut six and five eighths first. So I know I've got that cut done. Yeah, orientation is my nemesis, and I'm sure it'll be a problem tonight, too. It always is. <clears throat> but I think I have a way around it, because I have those two notebooks. See? See what I'm saying? I think I have a way around it. So now I want to cut this down to four and seven-eighths. All right, so I can get both sizes here. So those are correct. We'll put those aside. Four and seven eighths again. Um, May May ordered her composition notebooks off of Amazon. Then I'm going to cut this I down to four and seven eighths. You'll see why when we get to get we get to assembling. So this is the piece you can see here. This is this piece right there. Okay. So now what I need to do is I need to take my extra piece here. And I need to cut this down. Did I already do it at four and seven eighths? I did. So I need to cut this down to six and five eighths. Six and five eighths. All right, so that one will go there. Yeah, I thought I did that. I might have done that one wrong. We'll see. And then I want this one to be five and three eighths. It should be five and three eighths, actually. Five and one, two, three. It is five and three eighths, and it should be by four and seven eighths. And it is, but this one somehow I did wrong. Could be my math. Let me check my math before y'all go to doing that, because I could have done this wrong. Hang on a second. So I <coughs> check my math. Six and five eighths. All right. So then we go one, two, three. Four, five, and a quarter. That's what's different. I think I'm going to see what happens. Am I going to see what happens or am I going to be messed up? Okay, let's try another, let's try a different cut. Y'all got to let my brain work. That's what you got to do. Let's try it a little different. This time, how did I cut the first time? Did I do four and five eighths first? I think I did. I think oh, I'm going to do. We got 631 people watching, and only 237 likes. So I hope that you'll give us a thumbs up. I think right here, what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do. I'm going to try six and it. I think I did four and five eighths first. No, I didn't, did I? I did six and seven eighths first. I'm going to try four and five eight. I mean, four and seven eighths first. I'm looking at it. Don't stress. Uh, yes, this is what I did the first time too. All right, let's cut the strip off. And let's just see if I can fix this error that I have. Oh, I think I know where my error is. I think it's right here. Six and seven eighths. Did I cut this strip while ago? I did. All right, I don't know where my error is. So there's that. Now this one's going to be Somebody said you cut it seven eighths instead of five eighths. Mm, I don't. I th that didn't seem wrong, but maybe. All right, four and seven eighths here. There's that. Four and seven eighths again. Here. 
I didn't press through. I felt myself do that. Come off. There we go. Four and seven. Then this goes four and seven eighths. Okay, so that's what I did the first time. We did good. Now this should be four and seven eighths, and it is. And then I want to cut six and five eighths. That could be where I messed up. Yeah, I could have not put that in the right six place. And seven eighths, not six and five I could have put that in the wrong place. It felt wrong just then. So this one should be. What should this be? Five and three eighths. Yeah, it worked. Okay, we're back to normal. We'll just have we'll just have to do a second edit, but it's not a big deal. We have to do an edit anyway when we get there. All right, let's see if I get it right this time. I mean, I did that time. Let's see if we can do it this time too. Four and seven eighths. Well, y'all getting the likes up guy. a little bit. We're still a little behind, about three hundred people from liking it. So six and five eighths. Don't forget to help us out. that right? I'm double checking, triple checking. Four and seven eighths, six and five eighths. Doesn't feel right. Four and seven eighths. This should be five and three eighths. And it is. Okay. I just went a different way this time. We just went around the other way. Okay. Third time's a charm. We'll see. I feel like it's worse because I feel a little more confident. So we'll see what <laughs> Are you confidently doing it correctly I'm confidently or wrong? doing it wrong. Yep. Working quickly. <laughs> Six and five eighths. Gives the impression nope. you know what nope. you're doing. Four and seven eighths. See, what I'm doing before I cut is I'm looking at my paper and see if it's going to match up my pattern. And this, this will. So we're good here. And we're good here. Four and five eighths. I mean, four and seven eighths. Laura, this paper pack is called Cozy Christmas. And I'm going to cut this down to four and seven eighths. It's a cozy Christmas. All right. I like our store. Feeling better. Third time was better. Yeah, our store's looking so Christmassy, y'all. Cozy Christmas. So Christmassy. All right. Here's what we're going to do now. I'm put this aside. <laughs> now, I'm going to go through here. <coughs> I'm going to look at orientation, okay? Actually, let me get that piece out I didn't cut right. Like, none of these are cut the same. All those are, should be pretty close. Yeah, you think, but they're not. It's okay. We're going to edit. They literally are not. They literally? Literally? Literally are not. Literally. Like, they're three different lengths. One, two, three. I don't know what it did, but I did something. <laughs> So how, what are you going to do now? I'm going to edit. I'm going to fix it. Are they the right length or are they too short? This one's too long. But that's okay. But I hope they're not too short because you can't add back. Six and five eighths and they were too long. But look, we're going to keep those. Y'all have to do the, the old saying, do as I say do and not as I do. Oh. All right, we'll keep those. We'll use them if we need them. We should be pretty close now for real. Yeah, we're closer. Not perfect, but closer. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through and put these together in orientation. So this can go either orientation, okay? This has to go in this orientation. I think this is a cuter side, so I'm going to put it like this. This one can go either way. So I'm going to put you there. This one can go either way. This one, again, I like the trucks. This one, either way. This one either way. This one either way. This one has to go this way. Okay, so I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in its own pile. It has to go this way. This one has to go this way. Again, the back can go either way, okay? And this this can go, that has to go that way, so it's good. We're gonna put this one this away. Alright, this one has to go this away. This one has to go this away. This one can go either technically, but I'm going to put it there in case I can use it there. This one has to go this way, but can change on the back. This one can go either. Oh, and look, because we turned it, see this? Now it needs to go this way. See, that's cool how that works out, right? 
You just need to have both kinds of composition books when you're buying them. That was my thought anyway. I thought this way I don't have to worry about orientation because I am not good at it. I am poor at it. All right, so I'm putting all these here like so. We're just going to see what we get. And again, remember some of these on the back side I can switch around. So let's do a tall one. Let's do a tall one. So yeah, if I said this away is one word. <laughs> it's away. It's a, it's away and add away. Do y'all watch? Do y'all listen to watch or listen to Tavin Dillard? Because he says that it's away and add away. He cracks me up. All right. If we did anything close to right, and we're ooh, this one's wide. See, this is why I tell y'all to measure. This one is either wide or I'm off. Let's see if I'm off. I think it's wide a little bit because all of these did I cut these at four and seven eighths or did I go wacky maybe it's me I don't know y'all oh there we go this one is pretty close let's use this one I might use those on the inside because I can ink and hide the mess all right so I'm going to glue this down or I am I was you know why I'm not because Lydia's been here for two days and I don't know where my glue is uh-oh Where's my glue? She was crafting under the table. I don't see it under there. <laughs> under the table? She was under the table crafting. Do you see any glue? I see your big bottle over there. Yeah, but it don't got a cap on it. Hang on, y'all. Talk amongst yourselves. Here it is. It's over here. Okay, y'all getting better. 755 people are watching. We got 448 likes. But that still means we're 300 behind. Okay, something else I'm going to do. I'm going to round these corners. Although I'm going to tell you something, they're not going to be perfect, okay? Because these composition books are not perfectly rounded. You'll see that won't be perfect, but you don't want that little point hanging off, all right? So we're just going to do this. I'm just going to add some glue. Not much glue left in here. That child must have made it that. I didn't even see what she made. She didn't get to stay with us very long. And so I didn't even see. She came back here and lived. My glue was missing because Liv was under the table with it. <laughs> Did you have to climb under there? No, she put it back on the table, but, I, and, but she had see. been under the table. Yes, she was under the table. She had a good old time. April, we do still have uh, the subscriber tree. I'm so glad y'all mentioned that. You want to talk about that, Shannon, while I... Glue? As a matter of fact, I don't, but that's okay. No, um, yes, we do have the blah, blah, blah. we do have the subscriber trees. Um, you can, um, if you would like to send an ornament for the subscriber trees, you can send them to us, and we will put them on the trees. Um, when you come, you can look for your ornaments. Good luck. There's a lot. <laughs> the only thing we ask is that they are handmade. Yes. That's all we're looking for. Lydia is Meme's niece, his brother's daughter. Her brother's daughter. Her brother's daughter, sorry. I got to see Ford today. Oh, He's Forda. Forda, got to see Forda. That's what Addie calls him, Forda. Because Lydia and Forda, that's what she says. I understand that. Lydia and Forda. Okay, so look how cute that is. Super easy, right? Um, I think that's precious. I did miss, I did miss do some measurements, so we're just going to have to deal with it, okay? But I do, I'm like you, I like these top fold books. Let's talk about the inside. I want to show you what I was thinking for the inside. So with these pieces that we had to cut a little smaller, this also would work on the outside because I think it's cute to do this on the outside. So with these pieces that are a little shorter, I thought it would be cute if you use them on the inside and then maybe you use like this is this side but if you flip it over the coordinating piece mm -hmm. to extend it now see i think that'd be cute on the that front too i think uh -huh. i'm going to save that for a front um, or i'm going to do it on the front also so i'm going to put it in here that, not in 49 market that echo park um folio that i did that's the way they covered their back that's the way they did it to save paper uh -huh. that's exactly what they did and i like we it used scraps and it was cute so i'm going to do this number here Cutesy, cutesy. 
And I'm going to lay this down here. Uh, yes, Polly. Lydia is Daniel's daughter. But don't hold that against her. She's a sweetheart. No, she's, she's very <laughs> sweet. She's kind. Uh. <laughs> At lunch today, she said, May May, tell me about the time that Daddy and or your brothers um, handcuffed you to the pole and, pour, and covered you with shaving cream. She loves that story. I told Danny she asked me to tell it at lunch. He, she said, he said that's the story she always wants him to tell, too. So, see, that's cute, right? But I think that can be on the inside and be just as cute. And we can do the same in here. Or, now remember, okay, look, pay attention to what I just did. If you do this and you do this, you got to pay attention to orientation. Okay? You got to pay attention. So, what do I want to put in here? This is a cute. Ooh, this is cute, isn't it? All right, let me show you. No, this piece is good. I was going to show you a way for fixing, but this is good. We're going to do this and we're going to do this. But I will tell you, if you want to kind of clean up the edges, you can also um, ink up the edges of your notebooks. So, you can do that if you need to kind of clear up any any blips. Alrighty then. So see these are cute, right? And we'll go back with cut aparts to uh, deck them out. But look how easy that is and how cute it. that is. There's the inside. Let's see if we can do a sideways one. So we can officially use these since we've decorated Yeah, them. these are ours. Yeah. Hot diggity dog. Yeah, these were ours. Let's look at this one. And I let's, need a new notebook. Let's do one I have to do in that orientation. Where did I put that pile right here? Yeah. And I feel like I did these short. But that one's good. All right, I'm glad. I don't, they're not all going to work out. I can tell you that. I already know they're not. I can feel it. But I have a plan for fixing it. All right, that's cute. Is that not precious? I'm also going to make sure I'm using the right book. I'm real bad about uh, orientation, y'all. You just don't know. I mean, you do. If you've watched me any length of time, I cannot tell you how many times y'all have screamed at the screen, change it, change it. Y'all know. Turn it! Turn it! Don't glue that down! But I still do. I still glue it down. I like Too I late. cards that way. It happens. I wanted to show you guys something else, too. If you have any of this hanging over and you just don't like that, what you can do is take this a nail file and you can file down the edges and it will go exactly to the edge of the paper. Now this one needs a little bit of filing. I'm not going to do it right now because it makes a mess on my desk and I don't like having to clean that up over and over. But you can do that if you have a little bit hanging off. All right, so there's that. Let's look at the back side. This will be cute if it'll go because that'll be cute back there. So we'll corner around and glue down. Alger said she loves all the gift ideas you show us. Oh, thanks. I like gift ideas too. I think this is neat. This kind of thing right here, listen, if you think about it, okay, if you, as many as some cards, as many as some composition books, as many as some tags, as many as some bookmarks, think of the cute stationary gift you can give. You could literally make a matching composition book, matching legal pad, matching tag set, matching card set. You could give somebody like all they need for the whole year. It wouldn't it be cute? Yeah. I want to show you this too. If you don't want to cover the inside, you don't have to, okay? It's white. I know everybody doesn't love white, but like Thomas says, white's a color. So you don't have to cover the inside. It's cute to me if you do. Let's keep going with that. Ooh, this plaid though. I think this plaid will be cute in here. Let me see if it's going to reach. And it does. And it does. Indeed. So, I'm going to have to work kind of quickly, so y'all going to have to talk. Welcome, Sarita. It's her first time watching us. Hey, Sarita. Welcome in. Hello, New Zealand. <gasps> I'm in Beverly. Your name's not New Zealand. You're just from there. She represents all of New Zealand tonight. You're New Zealand tonight. Maybe not, though. There could be other people here could from New Zealand. New Zealand tonight. Miss New Zealand. <laughs> All right. So see how this doesn't go to the end? That does not bother me. Again, I don't like to bulk it up. If you get into this area, it bulks, and I don't like to do that. Somebody asked what we were punching with. This is the um, 
crocodile corner chomper from We Are Memory Keepers, and I'm using the half inch. I they noticed. Were asking why were you punching holes? I didn't understand. Oh, it's not a hole. I'm just rounding age. the corners. I'm sorry. I didn't read. The gifts are cute. Let's use the gifts. Go. Oh. Let's use the gifts. Oh, we also have Miss Australia. <gasps> and Miss Ireland. Wow. You guys, Tamitha told me a really neat statistic the other night. And I hope I get it right. Tam, correct me if I'm wrong. She told me she was looking at our um, our Facebook group. May May made it and so did I. She said we have, was it 98 countries represented? What did you tell me? Can you remember, Tam? That was pretty neat to yes. think about. There's no time limit if you want to make an ornament to send to our subscriber tree. Um, if it gets here after Christmas, we just box them Save up it for and next year. for next year. Threw one in the floor. This is cute. It. This is very Shannon. I love that. Mm -hmm. It's I'm gonna do this one. To me. It is tailory. Mm -hmm. I guess we're gonna be putting these on everybody's desk as a gift. There you go. I'm 98 countries on our Facebook That's group. That's pretty cool, right? I'm tired of um, waiting on my glue, so I'm gonna fill it up. Uh, I use paper for notes. Like um, I, I, I have to write things on paper. It just makes me happy. I like notebooks that can fit in my purse. That's something I've learned from Shannon. I haven't always done that, but I bought me a new purse and I've been playing in a notebook for it. And that's one reason I'm being selfish tonight, making me one. Cause I like having a notebook in my purse. I never know what I need I to do. I like the idea mail. of it. I like having a notebook in Shannon's purse. That's what yeah, I like. Cause well, then I always have a notebook. <laughs> We have subscriber trees where y'all make ornaments and send them to us. And every Christmas, we pull all the ornaments out and we put them on the trees. I made that too tight. I heard it suction. That's what, that's what the ornaments are for. Now I'm scared. You hear it? Oh. This may start um, oozing. oozing out on me because I got it super full and super tight. I had that happen when I was making a folio at the house, and I didn't realize it. And then I looked down. I'm and it's on, just, of course, I'm crafting on the couch. And I look down, and there's glue running all down my bottle. These are super cute. They are. I do like a notebook in Shannon's purse very much. I do, too. In quite I, I do am, not like when Noah likes to find my notebooks in my purse and draw on every page, and then I have to write over the top of his cute drawings. But I just like notebooks. I have a notebook problem. I like paper. I like pens. Although my purse is so small now, I can't. I guess I need that little brown notebook you have over there to put in it. Those would be great, wouldn't they? I think it'll fit. Because you could keep several of those for different topics and, topics and things. Yes. Open this one up. Will this guy go I need that here? bag Mandy had. It'll fit a notebook nicely. Um, I found a pattern for that bag. I need you to make me that bag. I would like to make you that bag. Make me that bag. I really would like to. I think you should go pick out fabric. Okay. I really, I, know a place. I think that'd be a good challenge. I meant to tell you that this morning. I found a pattern for it last night. And I think it'd be fun to make. And it's not the exact, but it's very, very similar. But I can make it yeah. like that. I can do edits. <laughs> Lisa has a notebook problem too, she said. Yes, I see a lot of notebook problems and pen problems. If you've ever visited the store and you've seen my Is it a problem? desk, it's not a problem if you know you have it. It's not a problem. I don't think it's a problem. I admit, I like them. What did Tamitha say? I saw somebody say, I'm with you, Tamitha. Um, she just spent an insane amount of money for top fold, fold uh, top folding spiral notebooks, but she so loves them. I like, I, well, Timothy's left-handed, I think. Isn't she, she left-handed? So, she yeah. Said those top she always really wants nice. everything on the top fold. I understand that, too. Oh, I do, too. I like top fold. These are really cute, y'all. Really cute. I said we're going to make an as many as, but I don't know if I bought as many enough um, books. <laughs> do I have more than this? I thought I did. Maybe I don't. I may have to order some more of them. I really like them. Oh, they would be cute Christmas planners. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Tamitha, and I love stationery to an extreme. See, that's why I think this would be a cool gift, a custom one. You know, like, think about this. If you have the monogram stamp, you could put, well, you know, we've, you've seen us do it. We've done that a thousand times. We've made notebooks. We've made composition books. If you guys have never seen my composition books, I see people talking about adding pockets and stuff. Go watch my composition book videos. I teach you how to do that. Um, I show you, I have a way that I make a pocket out of these pages inside, and I show you that in those books. Um, maybe Tamitha can link some of those or a playlist or something. But if you want to learn pockets and stuff, I do all of that in those. I did not, I didn't corner around this. I'm going to put it on, let it dry, and then corner around it. I like planners too, and this is the first time I've sat down and really put all this stuff in my planner, and I'm really liking it. Well, us doing that monthly meeting helps. Yeah. It does. I think it does. So, uh, did you see that I forgot this? I'll come back and do it. Not a big deal. Oh, I need to do the inside. I need to do the inside. Um, let me see how much this is cute, isn't it? Oh, this is cute, too. I like to use these when you can. At May May. That'd be cute on the front of one. If you would make the collection, how would, would you gift it? In would. a basket with an edible treat in a matching box or just a regular gift wrap box? Y'all, there's so many different ways. Like, you could you could literally do anything you want. I would, knowing me, because I'd be making a video for y'all, I'm sure, I would do it a lot like we did the... Um, cards in the bag you remember the cards we did yes. in that big bag yes but i think a basket i think a gift bag just a gift bag stationary set um I, that would be adorable I, a basket would be great here's the thing about a basket they can use it to store it like if you got them like a little container like one of the cute um you know the cute ones now they have like it it's all the stores have oh, the have little vaults. plastic yes. containers or one of those shoe boxes like the the big the big box stores sell those shoe boxes with the matching lids give it in that then they could store their stationery in that that'd be really cute um my favorite pen is a pentel um rsvp fine point black at the moment i, I mean I, which is also my favorite yeah um the cheap pens I just like pens, but the pen tails are my favorite. Let's do this one. And Amber's favorite. Whenever we find them, we buy some. I have a pack at home just sitting there waiting. Um, can we do any ornament? You can do any kind of ornament, just a handmade ornament. That's what we have on the tree. It's a neat story how that happened. It came from, do you remember that story, Vince, how we did the Jesus. Yeah, you want to tell them? Well, he just got everybody to send you ornaments, homemade ornaments from all over the place. Not exact. He did that. But the way it came to be was he and I were talking one day, and I was like, how cool would it be if we had, like, a tree with ornaments from all of our subscribers? We're talking about that. And I never thought he would run with the idea. But he did. He ran with it. He did, a, like, a secret post on Facebook or something. I, he did it, and then he was like, let's just surprise her. And that very first year, you guys covered a whole tree. That for, not as full as they are now. <laughs> They're so full. But we you have did. three of them now. Yes, and you guys covered that tree. It was beautiful, even the first year. All right, now what I'm going to do is play with these guys. I think this will be cool. Look, I'm going to play by mixing these. I love that. I think it you looks know good. What my favorite ornament we've gotten is? Because I couldn't say that. Oh, gosh. I don't know that I would have. You we have got so many. So many. And, and besides that, I probably wouldn't pick one anyway because I wouldn't want to hurt everybody else's feelings. But we have a pile of beautiful ornaments. Or, or were you asking what my favorite pen is? I'll tell you what's funny. Today, Jasmine and Tiffany were putting a tree, were putting ornaments on a subscriber tree. And they've never seen it before. It was new to them. And um, I thought it was so cute because they were back there going, oh, Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. It was so cute. Hey, I'm going to pull out a punch. You guys know me. I'm going to pull like out a, a punch. Um, uh, coming of age when you work at Mamey Made It and you have to do it at a uh, subscriber tree. Yeah, you're like, they made it. That's what they were saying. Somebody yeah. made this? Like, you got to, you got to, everybody's got to do it at one point in time. My favorite pen <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> I'm not like everybody else. I don't know what the name of it is. I just know what it looks like. That gel pen, a G2. It's a G2 gel pen. Yep. You like it because the gel dries fast enough for your left hand. Isn't that what you told me yeah. you like about it? 
What did you say, Shannon? I have a stash of Vinny's pens. He actually fussed at me one day and said I stole all his pens. I didn't yeah. steal them all. I just put them all in the she, container. What she did was she picked up the ones I left laying all over the building and put them in one place for me to be able to find them. <laughs> So I always know so I, I can go to him. Shannon's desk. So he can always come pen. to my desk and just grab all his pens and take them back. And as he wanders and leaves them places, I'll collect them all back, put them back in. And so y'all see that this assistant. is one. This is one that I messed up. Do you see what this? You so I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix it. I only cornered one side, corner rounded one side. You won't have this issue, but if you do, here's an idea. Because you'll cut it correctly. Because you guys always get it right. I'm the one who gets crazy and doesn't do it right, but it's all right. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. So I'm going to put that down like that. Then I'm going to go to these strips that I cut off that I wasn't supposed to cut off. And I'm just going to add a strip. Let me find one that I like. I like this wood grain. Look, I'll just add that wood grain strip right there and clip it. It's not perfect. It's not like what I had in mind. But guess what? It works, right? Well, we'll see. We'll see. That's a good idea, Cheryl. I need to collect all his pens and give them to him for Christmas. <laughs> all them used pens. Surprise! Supplies! That's it. Oh, come on, that was funny. <laughs> Supplies! Supplies! <laughs> Um, it doesn't matter if the ornaments are paper or fabric. Um, we have all different types of ornaments. We have every kind of ornament. It's either a you type of ornament or you make an ornament that you think Mame would like or whatever type of ornament you want to make. It doesn't matter. We have a lot of them. I'm just going to leave that like that. I may come back and do something else to it, but that covers it. Pilot it covers fix it. Fric friction pins are erasable with the heat. Fabric okay. For fabric. Oh. I mean, I don't know if they use them for paper, but those are fab for fabric. Really? Mm -hmm. You can write on fabric and then you use your iron and it goes away. Mm -hmm. Fancy that. Yeah, yes. This one, I'll show you another fix. Okay. Just do this. Ink. I became a pretty significant pen snob when I was in the insurance business. Because I always wanted my customers to use a really nice pen when they signed applications and stuff like that. I always keep a pen in my notebook, a spiral ring, so I have the pen I like. Dun, 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 dun. Somebody said they work great on paper. Somebody said they're actually for paper. Friction pens? Yeah. Hmm. Well, the quilting world uses them. I'll tell you that much. Somebody said they're awesome for crafting. I don't use a pen in crafting. Why would you use a pen? I use a pen in my calendar and Mamey thinks I'm weird. Honestly, why why I'm not being I'm not being why would you use a pen? Where would you use a pen? And then how do you heat it off? Do you have to get your heat gun out to do it? And then do you warp your paper? So many questions. <laughs> Y'all bumping so many questions. <laughs> have a rocket book and friction pens are the best pens for it. What's a rocket book? I don't book? know what a rocket book is. Now you're going to make me Google it, it and buy something. iron it away, even on paper. Yeah, but why do you use, what are you talking, in crafting, why? I got to know. Inquiring minds, got to know. Pencil? This person says, I use a Frixon pen on my paper calendar, so if I need to change something, I iron it away. It's a pencil. Use a pencil. Well, I like writing in pen on calendar. I, I just, I like my handwriting in pen better than I do in pencil. It's different. It really is. I'm a pencil user. Who is I talking to that said they are too? It was Tim Carter that came in the other day. I'm Remember? I'm obsessed with my handwriting on, with pens, not pencil. I can't. Well, people said, Margaret said, don't write a check with a friction pen. <laughs> 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 okay, what was that notebook I saw? What's, she, uh, ro what's a rocket book? The rocket book. What's a rocket book? Probably something expensive. You remember how Mandy used to have all those expensive notebooks we never would buy? You remember? Mandy yes. had notebooks. Mandy had really cool notebooks. I know. That's why she's my friend. <laughs> Y'all, I had a student that gave me. Hey, Josh. You want to say hey to everybody? Yeah. 
Oh, congratulations. Give me five. I can't oh. tell nobody. It's a secret. Shit. You don't want to squat down where people can see you in the oh, camera? Oh, just say hello to everybody. Squat oh. down and say hello. Down Josh, he's here. He was Water. using the internet, and he was here. <laughs> All right, have a good night, Love bud. You, Love you, buddy. Um, It's bad when you have to come use our internet, isn't Not it? The books are made. To have internet. You can digitalize your notes and then erase and reuse. Oh, my god. Oh, is this like a, um, not yeah. Rocket, what's the other one that, um... I'm not able to think of it. There was one that I almost bought one time to do that with, and I thought, I don't use a notebook enough. But now I like notebooks. Um, okay. Amy said they're not overly expensive considering they, they last forever. $37.99? Um, what's the other one, y'all? Does anybody know the oh, other one? Rocket Book Everyday Planner. Was it a life, a life mm. book? Something, I can't remember. It's been a long time. All right. Let's see what I we can do with this. Plan. Ooh, this is a cute one. Let's do this one. Thank y'all for giving me a complex and introducing me to something different that I can write in. Oh my gosh. These people. You ain't got your key. Hold, please. Does he need to lock the door? Just lock the door. I'll you gonna do it? it? You're all right. No problem. He's all right. Shannon leaves this room all the time. <laughs> All right, I'm liking these. Um, I think they're really cute with these patterns that go up and down like this. What's on the back of this one? <gasps> that a cute one. I kind of don't want to waste that. That could be a good front. Let's use this on the back since I've already got a front of this. I keep forgetting to corner round. Yeah, I heard that about... Um, Friction pins. Somebody said they'll disappear if it gets warm. I heard that about friction pins, but they were talking about fabric because they were saying if your um, craft room or your sewing room is warm and you like work ahead of time, you have to be careful. You'll come back and all your markings will be gone. Interesting. But mine's not warm. I mean, mine's room temperature. I mean, what's room temperature? I guess your room. I don't know. No, What's room temperature? Well, quick, room but... temperature is whatever temperature I keep my room, right? So. They said if you use the friction pen and your cal calendar, your calendar gets warm, it can <laughs> erase. Oh my I said God. your calendar. <laughs> and if your calendar so gets warm, so if you're a leave it in the car type person, or if you live it. in Alabama, <laughs> everything's gone. Oh, would it not be hilarious to buy that for somebody? No, it joke? would not be hilarious. It can you imagine? A person who loves something enough to write like that and then it's gone. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine those calendars that we took all that time and filled yeah. all those dates? Let me just say, like can you imagine it? poor Amber if you did that to her? She just quit. Oh, I'm yeah. done. Just done. Friction pins fade at 120 degrees. Yeah, that's not for Alabama. God, I mean, it gets hot in our vehicles. The other day, what was it outside? 80 something and in your car it said 98? Yeah, it was And that so was 80 hot. outside? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just pop it in the freezer and it comes back? What? This is weird. Wait now. Now I just need to go buy this pen so I can have fun. I have not bought them yet because I just didn't need them for, because I don't use a pen. Hey, but Penny. Penny got friction pens? No, but I've been thinking about asking her to get them. I don't know. I can't say no. Ask her because she may have them. They're very popular in that? sewing. Now it explains why they don't write on fabric really well. Because I watch them and they kind of struggle getting it to write. Like they're like, like that. All right. We're really, y'all, I'm not telling y'all how many we've got done. I want y'all to be surprised. Is anybody keeping up? No, May, are you going to decorate? These books in a minute when we get them covered. In a minute. Um, I'm going to do some. I'm going to do what time allows. I think this is so oh, cute. Oh, so Charming says, yes, we keep them in company. Hi, Penny. Good. That means I'm going to want those, too. <laughs> I might want one, too. I'm hoping to get by there tomorrow, but I can't promise. I've got to get by there. Oh, good. Then I can promise. Her for soap. i got to pay her for thread. By the way, he loves it. Oh, cool. i got to pay her for thread. We owe you money. I saw in the window today because we drove by and I said, oh, I can see them. I haven't been by there. So Charming now has 
sewing machines. And I'm excited because my hubby tells me I can get one to replace the one I purchased that is really not good. And I'm not telling you, don't ask me, I'm not telling you which one it is because I should have listened to the research. I did the research and I should have listened and I didn't. I thought, oh, y'all just don't know how to use a sewing machine. No, they do. <laughs> they do know how to use a sewing machine. They may want another notion. Wow. <laughs> Guess who said that? Uh, calm it down, Penny. Cal it might have, no, probably it was Emily. <laughs> no, it's probably Penny. <laughs> calm it down. Name that so charming person. Who are you? <laughs> uh, Nancy, the the metal tip on the glue bottle just screws on, or, or twist on, I should say. It makes its own threads. You just set it down on top of the cap and turn it, or twist it, and it will thread itself to the top. There is a video for that. I'm sure Tim yes. is getting the link for it as we speak. Yeah, it's probably going to be linked in just a second. Probably linked momentarily. This um, is cute. I like that. Diana said, I labeled some embossing powder samples with using a friction pen, and when I heated the EP, all the writing went away. It came back when she put them in the freezer. I'm glad I've never bought one and not known it. You know? Yeah. I would have been sad. <laughs> Peggy says she watched someone sewing with a serger the other day and now she wants one. Like I need that. What? Say that again? Peggy said I watched someone sewing with a serger the other oh, day. Oh, with the serger. And now I need one. I have a serger that I love. Love my serger. I it's think fantastic. Mary has a problem with sewing machines. Wow, she has nine sewing Mary machines. Says, I have nine sewing Ooh. machines, two embroidering and one serger. I wanted a serger back I'm in the day. That you're making some money with them bad boys. I have said it is not a problem if you admit that you like to collect them. I wanted a serger back in the day so bad, and I could not afford one, and I wanted one so bad. And when I decided to start sewing again this time, this is the beauty of having vents, okay? First off, you know how much, I, everybody knows how much I love tools. I want every tool I always have that's never been different, okay? And I wanted a serger. And we went to get my sewing machine, and there was a serger, and it was on sale like 50% off sergers or 40% off. 40 off? And he's like, will you use it? I'm like, will I use it? It's a serger. Like, it's something that you could use on every single project. I was like, duh. And in place, of pro and he went, get it. You need it. It was a really good price. And I love it. It's just a baby lock, but I love it. So love I it. I still don't know what it does. Hey, guess what? But I was fixing to say, what does that do? The what, serger? Yeah. So whenever, like, let me see your shirt. Here it is. See how that is stitched? That Yes, that and keeps your keeps it from fraying, and a lot of times it'll so be. Is that what makes it where it'll stretch? Okay, see, this is a perfect example. See on my knit where it's right there on the edge. Uh -huh. So the seam is put together with a, just a straight stitch, uh -huh. but that is cleaned up with a surged edge, so it doesn't just fray away. Because okay. any kind of fabric that really frays, it's it finishes the fabric edge. Huh. Does it make sense? Look at there, learn something new every day. Love that thing, and you can you can sew with them. A lot of people just sew with them, make projects with them. You can sew with them. I can't I sew agree with, with anything but my hands at the moment. I know there is what are you agreeing with? What about? We didn't hear it. She says, when God handed out gifts for sewing, I was way out back in the forties. Hey, my sister was with you because she got told in um, home ec that she um, needed to step away from Miss Smitherman's sewing machines or else. Or else. Or else but then the, her next statement was she, the one that applies yeah, no. to me. She said she was in the same place when he handed out gifts for algebra. Oh, that's me too. All right, you guys, I want to show you something. So these are some that I cut so poorly that I'm not even going to take a chance on. I'll just, well, that one's fine. Maybe I just had a couple that were, this one's not good. That one's fine. I might can get one more. So you'll be able to get more than I am. Yep, I can do this. Okay, I can get one more, which is good because I'm running out of composition books. <laughs> I'm going to run out of composition books before I run out of um, paper, which is funny. 
from the paper pack. But do better with your cutting than I did. Just do better. Uh, seeing your name, A Place of Grace, reminds me of a song by Phillips, Craig, and Dean called I Know There Is a Place Called Grace. One of the most incredible songs ever written. Your top is super cute. I love the holes on the sleeves. Thank you. Showing her muscles off. Thank you. This eye. Flex. I'm flexing. Here we go. We're getting there. Okay, Twyla says a serger can't replace a regular sewing machine. It's an overlock machine and great for knit material. I got to tell you something, Twyla. I watch YouTubers that sew 100% with their serger, and I'm shocked. Because for years I thought the same thing. I thought, you can't do that. I watch one in particular, and she makes all of her clothes with it, and she doesn't just use it for her knitwear. She uses a lot of knitwear, but she ser she ser and I've been shocked by it too. I've been shocked. I don't do that. I do what I was taught. I do what I knew, but I have been shocked. I think everybody steps out, and I think it's neat when people try something. You know what I'm saying? You're also, though, you like a tool for every I job. like a tool for everything. I want a tool for everything. It um, just it makes life easier if you have mm -hmm. the right tool. It does. Uh, Mary McKenzie said she has a quilting business and has been doing this for over 50 years. Quilting? Quilting. Wow. Pretty cool. I found out from the paper <laughs> that Penny's been doing this 27 years. Yeah, we asked, who was it that asked her? Did I ask her that the other day? I've never asked her, I don't think, but um, I might have asked her, but in the paper I read it because they quoted her. That's funny. Um, by the way, that girl might be doing the wrong thing with sewing. I'm not doing it. I'm just telling you I watched her do it, and I was like, I don't think you could do that. And she says in her video, she's like, I know, I know, I sew with a serger. She says it. <laughs> so, she comments on it. These people are funny with these sergers. What? Mary Adams said, uh, I guess Molly Smith, mom gave me uh, her serger too. She was never able to get, get it threaded. Kept having to call me. Finally said, just take the blessed thing out of my house. Oh, these people. Mmm, I need a drink if he's cough. Hang on. <laughs> yep, that's what it feels like. I just did this wrong. <coughs> Don't tell anybody. Marla says, I sew with my surgery, cotton flannel, whatever. I've had a surgery for over 25 but years. But I agree that I was taught that you couldn't. That's why when I saw that girl doing it, you know, the second sewing time around, I was taught you couldn't do that. I was taught it was for knitwear, and it was for finishing seams on fragile fabrics and things like that. And when I, I really, it doesn't make sense to me how it would work. <laughs> Again, I'm new, I'm back at this. So I, I really enjoyed seeing... When I was sewing, there weren't YouTube videos. Like that, was, like, that wasn't a thing. You couldn't go watch videos and learn how to sew. There probably were when I was at some point in time, but not, you know, not the, the last time I sewed. Um, I'm going to skip these. Now, these are not wasted pieces by no means. Um, we can use these for other things. I saw people asking about pockets. I'm not putting pockets in these, but here's the reason. I don't want them to bulk up, and I am not a huge fan of a flat pocket in something this small. Here's what I mean by that. Let me explain it to you, okay? If I take this piece, and I'm, I wouldn't take, I'd make it bigger, okay? But hold on, let me take this piece. Here's why I'm not a huge fan. You can be a huge fan of it. Just like you can sew with what you want, you can glue what you want, okay? But if I take this piece and I glue it straight down without a gusset, by the time my glue has room here and my glue has room here and at the bottom, I really get a pretty narrow pocket. And for the people I'm giving these to, which is my staff, they don't really need a pocket in it. That's not gonna be a thing for, for what they're using it for. If you wanna add a pocket, add a pocket. If you wanna add pockets inside here, if you wanna add tab spaces, do all of that, okay? I just am not gonna add pockets tonight. I don't, do you think we need a pocket, Shannon? No. 
I don't see us using these with pockets. So let's put some pretties on them though. Um, you want to see how many we did? Let's see. We did one, two, Good three, boys. four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty good. It would have been nine, but I messed up that page. We would have covered nine, no problem. But let's put some pretties on them. So eight of them. And now I'm going to go back to those cut apart sheets I pulled aside. Remember, whenever I give y'all my tips and tricks, that's just me. Paper, you can do, I hope y'all understand this. I hope no one ever says she disagrees with me and I'm not going to, I'm not going to play the game anymore. The truth of the matter is this, you can do what you want. And that's what's so cool about paper crafting. And I enjoy watching people who do what they want. I enjoy watching people who show me different ways of doing stuff. So if you are like, nah, a pocket's fine. And a pocket is fine. Do a pocket. Do a pocket. You do you. Add a pocket. Add a flap. Add a bookmark. Add a ribbon. That's kind of cool. I saw, um, was it a posh paper lady? Did she add a ribbon to one of her minis? I think she did. I don't remember. I think it was her. I want to give credit. I mean, I don't have a ribbon to put in. I do. But I'm not going to tonight. Um, but you can. She added like a little ribbon bookmark, I think. Someone did. I do like the pockets in my big composition books. I do that because I feel like I can have, I have room in those to add anything of, of any size. So I will add them in my big ones. Go check out my other composition books. I have one composition video that has so many views and it's just me doing a walkthrough of it because I got to be honest, it was my very favorite composition book I ever made of all time. And I would give anything if Die Cuts with a View would bring that paper pack back. It was my favorite and no one that I have seen has done anything comparable since. And, um, and Die Cuts with a View keeps some of their paper around for a really long time. And I have looked and looked and they haven't brought it back. Maybe I should email them and go, can you please bring this paper back? I don't know that they could even. Pretty please. Pretty please. <laughs> Pretty please bring this paper pack Pretty back. Please. Oh, it's beautiful. I can't remember the name of it. Which paper was it? Like? It's the composition book. Tamitha can probably find the video. The composition book that is black and white that I did for the swap. If I say that, she probably knows. Um, but. Somebody said was that the black and white book. It's the black and white one. Did somebody that say that? before me, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, my gosh. It. Oh, yes. It was before. It was before <laughs> MayMayMadeIt.com. Like, it was before anything. And I Yeah, somebody it. said the black and white book. Yes. Becky Horn said it, actually. Isn't that paper? If I could get that paper back, I would totally get it back. I'd keep it all the time. It was so beautiful. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I loved it. That was my favorite one I've ever done. And even though I've tried to do stuff like it, I still can't get anything as pretty. I can't make anything look as good. In my opinion, I don't think I can. I've tried. I have tried. Now I want to leave this video and go look. How can you tell if there's a chip in your blade or your trimmer when your eyes are 62? Well, my 50 year old eyes that struggle basically just can tell by it won't cut through three packs anymore. It won't cut through three pieces of paper anymore all the way through. You notice how I was able to cut through three pieces with this one, no problem. My blade was fine. And on that one, I cut through two but couldn't get through the third one, which says to me the tip of that blade is not going as far down as it used to. It must be chipped. And I have a tendency to chip blades. I don't know how I do it, but I have a tendency to chip blades because that will happen to me pretty good. Or maybe just wear the tip off. I don't know. <laughs> You've been here that long? <laughs> when was that, Tam? The black and white book video. I was going to oh. say, it popped up the cozy Christmas. Oh, it popped it up the wrong, wrong one. Way. Okay, yeah. hold on. She'll get it fixed. Like, it. Do She'll it get it, it fixed. It but I want to know when it was too. If it's not cutting through the top, then it probably is chipped. Black and white book. She'll tell me because she had to go look it up. March 23rd, 2012. Wow, y'all. Oh, before my birthday. Wow. I love that. I love that project so much. I think I was still wow, close to my heart representative back those, then. Those uh, graphics in that video. Don't laugh about my graphics. I'm not laughing. 
I was cutting edge back then, I'm babe. Not denying I was it. learning. I was doing what everybody was doing. Everybody had. Is that the intro with all the stuff flying in? What intro is it? Oh yeah, that's a rough one. But I did it myself. It's not rough. Look at this. It's rough. It's horrible. You fancy. <laughs> Y'all rocking it, babe. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> I just feel like y'all are making fun. Y'all are just making fun of me. Not, not a bit. chance. <laughs> oh, that is pretty. Tim said that was even before her time. Oh, this makes me so happy. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Doesn't that just make you happy? Yep. All hearts come home for Christmas, and it's a truck. Like you get in the car and go. That might be cute. That's cute. Do Family you and the friends. Name of that paper pack? Um, I don't, and I've looked it Diana up so many times. Might have it. I have looked it. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one. So I'm gonna do is just run through and see what I want to put on them. Let's pull out another one. Let's see what these four by fours look like on them. Oh, that's cute. Like it. Gonna go with it. Gonna go with Leak it. Junkie said, "Wow, the audio on there. You could tell you were in a closet." I was in a closet. You were. <laughs> that's funny. Shannon would like that one because all the green. Maybe. Oh no, this one. But I don't like it on that paper as much on the background because it doesn't really go with the cup. Oh, Shannon, what about that one? Too, I don't really like it's it that much. I actually think it covers up too much of that. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cute to the side. This one. Yeah. Yeah? That's cute. Yeah, it's cute. I think it is, too. Are y'all making fun of my videos? I was in a closet. Nobody's <laughs> making fun of it. I was in a closet, y'all. That's where it all began. Yes. That altered composition has 81,707 views. Yeah, and that, but I mean, it took all them years to get it, but people like that video. <laughs> I like that video. Tam, did you look up which one it was? You can, I, surely I put the name in there. It's not in the description. <gasps> oh, yeah, we didn't do anything in the description back in those days. <laughs> I mean, unless you say what it is. I might have said. I might have said. Let's I'm see. Turn it down and come back to the real video that's happening right now. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. I don't want to cover up all those stockings. What do I want to put there? One in the bottom corner would be cute. That's cute. I don't really care for that with that. Okay. Oh, and to all a good night with all the stockings. I like that one. Josephine says, okay, I have to ask, why does May May, well, everyone, put tags in everything? I don't get it, LOL. I only think of gift tags. Help. Because they're for journaling or putting a photo on the back of, and they add texture to the book so you don't just have just the flat book. But you, you don't really think it. They're not really a gift tag. They're like, think of them like, a, their own page just a smaller page and on the on one side you journal about the picture on the other side or maybe you make it where it opens and you can put pictures all in it it's really an extra place to put photos and I totally get that because so many people say to me I don't understand the whole tag thing and I get that I do uh, Tina I like Jif extra crunchy peanut butter but there was a recall on it and so they took all Jif off the shelf at least in our area, they may have done it all across the country. But I think now you were able to get me a jar the other day. Yeah, but I'm still nervous about it because, well, and I haven't researched. It, so. Oh, great. Well, he's fine. <laughs> I didn't I research okay. it. It still says 425 on it, but I think the 425 is not the number we were supposed to be the most scared of. I, think, I don't know, and I didn't research it. Now well, he's I mean, eating it, so she he's put still it here. Back out, so. uh, it's probably I mean, it's on the shelf, but it makes yeah, me nervous. It's probably okay because for the longest time they had the we took this off the shelf sign you know because of a recall or whatever all right check this out you guys here's what i'm going to do now i'm going to take some coordinating paper i'm going to start with this green because i had it sitting here and it's a scrap and i'm going to cut um a few that are four and a quarter by three and a quarter just really quick so let me just do that real fast Did I say it's the Bella Armoire? I don't know if it was Bella Armoire. 
Tamitha said she thinks that's what it was. I don't know. All I know is it's the most beautiful paper pack I've ever laid my eyes on. And y'all all agree, don't you? It's so beautiful. What brand is your heat embossing tool? Marvy. We took it out of here. It's not in here. We use it up front to show somebody how to use something the other day. So I don't have it in here. But it's a Marvy. That's what I think, Sherilyn. They wouldn't have put it back out if it was still bad. Yeah, but what do I think? Well, She'll never be able to eat it ever again. What do I think? They made a mistake. Some employee out. found some in the back. They didn't know it was back there. They stuck it on the shelf, and that's how we got it. And now we're all going to have salmonella again. Well, nobody eats it but me. And so far, I've had one sandwich with it with no effect. He's a survivor. I don't know. <laughs> He's a survivor. <laughs> he survived the jiffy. That's funny. As I said, you'll never be able to eat it ever again. I don't Sorry. know that I will. Oh, I don't I'm know that I will. <laughs> I don't. Y'all know how I am. I know how you are. I'm a weirdo. It's okay. We still love you. But I'm a weirdo. Um, it's okay. We still love you. Do you, you. want to? Do you want a pretty punch on your corners or your? Sure. Do you want to hand me one of your pretty punches? Yeah. Pick the one you want. Uh, for pretty what? a shallow one if you got one. For what? For where are you doing it? Okay, we have 872 people watching. This may not be the one you want, but I think just pick likes. the one. You guys are doing a great job. Yeah. But we still See, could use a like few a more. So yeah. if you hadn't given us a thumbs up yet, be sure to do that. What's that? Right here on the end, on the corner. I think it's the same thing. For some reason, I think you have oh, two Oh, I have the two same. of them. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, don't I thought know. we had more of these. but Kelly, I, I, I appreciate your enthusiasm about Walmart's Extra Crunchy. But if it don't have Jif on the outside of the bottle, I ain't a buying it. It's just Vince, y'all. It's just me. If it... I only eat Jif peanut butter, period. It's just a personal preference. I like nerdy nuts. Mm. I don't like to eat the creamy, but I didn't have no choice for a period of time. And when they took all Jif off the shelf, Vinny didn't eat peanut butter. So, you know. <laughs> he talked about this other third person. <gasps> for me, first person. It's just Jif. Second person. When I was growing up, <laughs> oh, no. I was taught that choosy mothers choose Jif. My oh, choosy mother marketing. chose Jif. That's all we ate. Oh, marketing. Choosy mothers. Other than when we would go on vacation to the beach, Mama would buy the Goober peanut butter and jelly that was, well, it was a combination. peanut butter grape combo I mix. I love Goober peanut butter and jelly. And because to this day. Day. it was easier I, I have, and cheaper. I have ventured out to that. At the beach. I could put a hurt on that. It. I, oh, love I loved it. the Goober Convenience peanut butter. But it could, only be, it could only be the grape mix. Oof. I don't remember there being another mix back I, then. I don't think there was. Because all I remember was the grape. But that's what, because we would do our beach days and you'd take the bread and the peanut butter and jelly and it's just easier to buy one and do it out of the jar than to have to take so both funny. things. But it's okay. It, you all have the right to be wrong and like somebody <laughs> all the time. peanut butter. I'm just saying. For me, it's just Jeff. <laughs> Goober was the only thing you could um, go variation to. But you know, I'm sure everybody else is just good. It's just not for it's me. So funny, all You're the digging the peanut butter hole, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get out of this hole of me on this peanut butter thing. <laughs> I like my bougie peanut butter, but it's not like the same type of peanut butter. For Look, I knew we'd see that. So he said that um, the nasty. goober jelly was gross. Listen, I can see how you would see it both ways, but I enjoyed it. Let me tell you, and I might hate it now because this was like you know when I was a lot younger and. It was just the fun thing you had when you were I think it'd bring beach. back all the nostalgia okay. and you'd love it. I like this. But see, I also... <laughs> Willow says, Skip, Skippy, and Peter Pan can take a fly. <laughs> Jif is the only one worth a diddly dare. Gone. Y'all are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Willow that's, can be friends. That's Willow's ode to Jif. Ode to Jif. <laughs> <laughs> Name it Ode to Jeff. Only one worth a diddly dare. You might Don't. want to submit that to Jeff. <laughs> but now I used to always, um, on like school field trips, I remember you always crushed your um, Doritos orange chips and opened them up and put them onto your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Why did we all do that? I did it too. I don't know, but that's what you did. 
But so it could only be the orange tree dish. We were playing in our family Christmas party the other day at my house, my aunt and my cousins and stuff. And um, we were talking about what food we were going to bring. And they want to do soups and chilies, which is what we typically do. Oh, and yeah, I was one. writing everything down. And I said to my Aunt Dottie, you're, you're bringing peanut butter and syrup, right? And she looked at me and she was like, I haven't done those in years. And I'm like, if I have chili and Aunt Dottie is present, there must be a peanut butter and syrup sandwich with it. And she was like, I'll make them. She said, I'll have to find the syrup because the syrup she uses is one that they um, discontinued. So she said, but what I think I can. What um, What's the one? There was one that you loved and they did away with it. Do you remember? Yeah, the one you and Aunt Dot and all them loved. Oh, that was a cane syrup, though. Yeah, that that's the one she cane used. Patch. That's what she used, and she couldn't. She said she called it by name. She said they discontinued it, so she said she'd find another one. Somebody on here said, uh, "Well, somebody said something about Cairo and peanut butter," and then somebody else said, "A uh, honey and peanut butter." Yeah, Cairo and peanut butter is good. I love Cairo syrup. I Cairo don't. Syrup. I, when it comes to syrup in my peanut butter, I really prefer Golden Eagle. Like but there is eagle. a thing called yellow label that's not terrible. It's not bad. But, but Golden Eagle is far superior. I'm and somebody said something about Duke's mayonnaise. Don't be talking bad about Duke's Don't mayonnaise. be saying nothing bad about but Duke's. Somebody, somebody said there's only one type of peanut butter and one type of mayonnaise. That's Just the, peanut butter and Duke's mayonnaise. Amen. Amen. I don't, I'm not as picky on the peanut butter, but Duke's is the mayonnaise. Duke's is um, mayonnaise. Peanut butter and syrup mixed together and put on a graham cracker was a lunchroom staple growing up. Like, that was dessert. Peanut butter and Cheeto sandwich. Hmm. Okay. I, I'll try it. I'll try it once at least. Golden flaked potato chips on my peanut butter and grape jelly sandwich. Okay, I can do that too. Right, Nerdy so. Nuts peanut butter, y'all. That's just bougie peanut butter, and it's delicious. I know. I, I will say that some of that nerdy nuts was pretty good stuff. Yeah, but I you will can't give them really. You can't. But it's. it's we not, couldn't eat it like peanut butter. It no, was like a treat. Like it's a. Not like like the only one to me that you could eat like a regular type peanut butter was the fluffer nutter one. That was the yeah, peanut butter. Yeah, you could put that on a sandwich. Mix. But the you others were just like sandwich. put it on a graham cracker or something uh, like that, and you're perfectly fine on a spoon. They even have a spoon now for eating Duke's peanut butter. Duke's mayonnaise is. It's just Duke's mayonnaise. They also make some barbecue sauce. It's pretty dang good. I haven't tried it, I don't think. But for whatever reason, Tamitha said no to Duke's. She's a Tennessee fan. What you, you can't expect no better. That's it. That Y'all? Be killing me, Smalls. Hey, it's probably going to be a bad weekend. Tennessee's probably going to whoop Alabama I, this year. I'm going to tell you something right now, Tamitha. I'm going to say this to you from an outsider, okay? I'm a... I'm a don't really care about football person living in Alabama, which is not really allowed in Alabama. Like, if you have to pick for a team. But I'm going to tell you something. I have never in my life seen as many nervous Alabama fans. Never in my life. Because I can't think of a time when they were worried about Tennessee. I'm serious. I'm not trying well, to be it's ugly. it's been 16 years since they beat Alabama. I'm just telling you, every single person, even today, we were at a grand opening for a new restaurant in town. <laughs> And um, our chamber director is a huge Alabama hey fan. Planting has We Milo's. have a Milo's. She turned to Vinny. We we're standing in line. She said, Vinny, are you wearing that shirt? Try to get us to have a better look Sunday. They, Saturday. They are worried to death. So just so you know, Alabama folks, nervous. Dukes is totally a southern thing. Now, Alabama. Now, Nick Saban's probably not nervous. He's probably just raring to go. I'll I mean, be, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he gets nervous, but... He gets it's nervous. Gonna be, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, the toughest game they've had all year. Cause Tennessee's, they're the real deal this year. They got a good football team. They may not be as good as everybody thinks. Cause they really hadn't played anybody that was really good. But I don't know that anybody else has either. If you want to know the truth. No, Nick ain't nervous. Mama Dizzy, I don't think that I don't. He gets his check. Anymore. I don't think that's a bummer getting old. I think that's good product. Um, a lot of the people I watch use the Primal Kitchen stuff. I've not, I've never tried it, but a lot of people I watch use it. I mean, that's your. I know you're choosing that now to make better choices, but a lot of people nowadays are using those products. We're just Southern. That, that's a. We're just a different. We're just a different breed of eaters. I'm just being honest with you. We eat strange. If somebody said Miracle Whip is mayonnaise, they're totally different. 
No, Miracle Whip is salad dressing. <laughs> and Miracle Whip is salad dressing. It's not mayonnaise, though. I mayo. grew up with Miracle Whip. Let me tell you I something right now. Mayonnaise. There are hills that Southerners will die on, and mayonnaise is one of them. <laughs> I mean, no, they're, I'm they're not, not converted. I mean, I still can't even stand the color orange because oh, I don't like Tennessee. But I am honest. It's not just because of Tennessee. Fan. It's not just because of Tennessee. I don't like Auburn orange either. That's right. But Do, can I tell y'all something about these two? Football fan. Let me tell you something about these two. We ordered cups with our logo on them, and they wouldn't let me order orange and blue. No. I, ha I could you order them. Weren't ordering them. I didn't want maroon because maroon's not a May May color, but I also didn't want maroon. But well, and it's not an Alabama maroon. No, anyway. it was. An I don't want maroon. I didn't want maroon. And you don't need to get it confused. I didn't want maroon, but I will say this to y'all: I had to get coral and light blue. <laughs> I but you're said, fine; they'll be pretty. I said, if we aren't getting Alabama colors, we aren't getting Auburn colors. Oh my goodness! But. I, I like Shannon's gonna get an orange cup. I am <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not getting an orange fan. cup. And if I think the football team is good, and I think they're gonna wax us, I'll be the first one to admit it. And I'm not much of a smack talker. How did I know? I don't like Charlotte to Reagan. Out, has she I even been tell. talking? How did I know? Yes, she's been talking. Because we called her out. I looked up and saw her name. Orange isn't even on the color wheel. <laughs> on her color wheel. There's no orange <laughs> in my color wheel either. Nowhere. The, well, I take that back. The only time I put orange on is when deer season starts, and I have to wear it. Only in the woods, To be though. legal. And I only have to wear it walking to the shooting house. <laughs> Once I get in the stand, I throw that thing in the floor. Don't feel bad. Hound's too fitting in my color wheel either. <laughs> she loves it, though. I do love it. Hey, There's Teresa, a, um, we, got, we got a cup coming. It's Carolina Blue. We do Let's have Carolina Blue coming. It's coming. Yeah, they let me order Carolina Blue. I got to be honest with you, 50 Jewels. Peanut butter and marshmallow cream is pretty strong. Oh we gosh, learned about yes. that from my stepmom. Remember That's that? Right. What peanut did peanut butter fluff? They sandwiches. were Karen sandwiches. Oh, peanut butter fluff, but they said Karen's um, Karen sandwiches. And she also made Karen Coke. Do you remember that? Remember Karen Coke, where she would mix like fruit juice and Coke, like fruit punch with Sprite, or it was really just punch basically, but they we, called it Karen Coke. We do ship to Canada. It is expensive, so um, check on our store. It'll let you know before you uh -huh. check out. All right, we're almost we're almost there. I wanted to be done Look, at seven thirty. I will tell y'all something. I'm gonna tell you something straight up. Tamitha Lures is, I mean, she's tried and true. Big old orange. That's who she is. That woman sat in Bryant Denny Stadium next to me and watched Tennessee get shellacked. And every time they did anything. She was standing up, screaming, go Big Orange. And she sang Rocky right Top? There, sang Rocky Top right in there amongst all them Alabama fans. And had her orange on, and she was in a sea of crimson and, and white. I turned my head the other way, not even look at her when she did it. <laughs> Act like you were with her. nobody knew I was with her. <laughs> if y'all didn't know that, Tamitha and I went to an Alabama-Tennessee game in Tuscaloosa. They did. <laughs> that was funny. I put on a big show for her. All right, let's look. Let's see what we what we accomplished in an hour and a half, roughly. Look at this. These are cute. And to all a good night. All hearts come home for Christmas. Friends and family gather near Christmas Day. It will soon be here. Uh, may the spirit of Christmas bring joy to your heart and leave and love to your home and leave your home. And I'll also say, <laughs> also say this about Tammy. I'm tired. She is a true Tennessee yes. fan because she cheers for Tennessee oh, and cute. anybody They're that all plays cute, aren't Alabama. They? I love that farm fresh one. That scalloped red side. Oh, my gosh. Y'all like them? Yes. I think they're good. They're fresh. And I think you guys can whip these up for gifts. Look, I just did eight Ooh. gifts. <laughs> they're fresh. Yep, wouldn't, they scored one touchdown. Wouldn't these be cute to keep like in your car? I mean, not if it's hot where you are because you don't want them to curl. Pickle but wouldn't it be cute bologna? to keep them to just give to friends? Wouldn't that be cute? Um, peanut butter and syrup on graham crackers. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you that. could put it on bread. Hey, y'all ever have pickled bologna? Huh? Pickled bologna? Mm-mm. They are the cutest notebooks. 
That's right, Charlotte. No team can play unless they have an opposing team to play against. I think they're good gifts. I hope y'all enjoy them. I, I was telling y'all that um, Posh Paper Lady put a ribbon um, bookmark in, and I think she put hers toward the middle. I didn't study it too much. I thought it was cute when I saw her flipping through. But you could do that. You could put like a ribbon in here, you know, so you can use it as a bookmark if you wanted to. It'd be cute. Hey, I do want to say this. We got a huge shipment in from one of our suppliers today. It came in on a transfer truck. It is not in the store yet, but it'll be in there tomorrow. We also got a restock on, a restock on almost all the stamp sets that we were out of. So if you've been looking for one and waiting for one, there's a good chance it came in today. Cindy, I was just thinking how exhausted I am. I was like, wow. I'm tired. Then I went, well, you just made eight notebooks and you decorated the store two days in a row. Like the store is getting decorated for Christmas. Um, but I just did, I just made eight notebooks. You did? Wow. That wasn't bad. I really enjoyed them. I think they're cute and I think the staff are going to like them. I'm just going to walk around and let everybody pick one. Um, so we're going to call it t a night tonight. We went a little long and I hope y'all enjoyed it. And we did I'm get. I'm not even watching that video. <laughs> we do have a lot um, that. Not yet, anyway. We have a lot that'll be going in the store tomorrow because um, Taylor will be opening up that entire pallet that was shipped and landed today. So I don't know what I was going in, but hopefully some exciting new stuff. And um, follow us on Instagram if you want to see some behind the scenes of Christmas decorating. I put a little bit up to today. I'll add some more tomorrow. We've been working really hard, and well, it'll be later because I got a lot going on in the morning. But we'll put it up for tomorrow. But since we're kind of done tonight, I'm going to let Vinny say a prayer and we're going to head out. Cool. Let's pray, guys. Hey, God, thanks for the day. Thanks for the great time that we had together tonight. Lord, I just thank you that we can have fun together. We can honor you through the whole thing. God, we just, we're just so unworthy but so thankful for all the things that you bless us with and how you take care of us and provide for us and watch over us and and help us when we're down, help us when we're sick. You're just always there to take care of us, and I thank you for that. I pray, God, that your peace, the peace that passes all understanding, would fall on every person watching tonight. And, God, they would feel your love and your compassion and your tenderness toward them. God, that they might know that, that you created them in your image, then you sent your son to die on the cross for them, they might have eternal life with you. God, we just give you all the honor and glory and thank you for what you did for us. And I pray, God, that tonight this prayer would be a witness to every person listening. And we give you all the praise and honor and glory tonight in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Hey, thank y'all so much for being here with us tonight. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Um, if you make these, I want to see them. Put them on our customer gallery and in our um, Facebook group. So 